Hey friends, typically whenever we meet out here at the old Up the Creek Gang Range, we're having a little bit more fun talking about a new product or new technique, shooting wise or gun safety or something of that nature. It's not going to be so much fun today. We've got a new attack on our gun rights by those that would call themselves being on our side, the Republicans. Several of the Republicans in Congress, teaming up with several Democrats in Congress, have put forth a bill, a measure so to speak, that they're trying to drive through that has the guise of it being basically a bump fire stock bill. That's what they're trying to sell this as based on a motion from the Las Vegas shooter. Well, it's not that. Nowhere, nowhere does it even mention the word bump stock in there. Now, I know what you may be thinking. Well, they're talking about a bump stock. That's not how laws are written. And when a law is written with a huge arching umbrella to allow several things to fall up underneath it, all of those things that fall underneath it are susceptible to that law. If you want to ban bump stocks, you name the bump stock. You name the actual mechanical features of that bump stock as something that you want to ban or outlaw. You don't put vague wording in there like this bill does. This bill is HR 3999 in case you guys want to actually look at the wording in it. I will read the wording to you real quick and you tell me how vague you think this is. The bill is going to prohibit the manufacture, possession, or transfer of any part or combination of parts that is designed and functions to increase the rate of fire of a semi-automatic rifle but does not convert the semi-automatic rifle into a machine gun and for other purposes. So we're going to ban pieces, parts, a part, any kind of accessory, if you will, that may make a firearm, a semi-automatic rifle, so to speak, specifically, that might increase the rate of fire. Okay, my first question to that is, what's the standard rate of fire? What's an acceptable rate of fire based on you? Because you're putting forth a law, so if you want me to follow a rule, you've got to tell me what the rules are. What are the parameters of the rule? When I drove out here to the gun range, I drove down a 50 mile an hour highway. I knew what the parameters of that highway was. I knew it was 50 miles an hour. I knew that's how fast I, I had to go because I could get a ticket for going less. But I knew if I went faster, if I went over that, if I increased my rate of speed, to use their wording in the bill, that I could get a ticket for it. Now, not a felony, according to what this law is probably going to pass on, but I knew that I was breaking the law if I went over 50. I know what the acceptable level of speed is. I know what the acceptable rate of speed is. I know what the standard rate of speed is to get where I'm at right now. I know what will get me in hot water. I know what will get me in trouble. When you put forth a bill that is as vague as this HR 3999 and you have zero, zero facts in it whatsoever, no standard at all, nothing even alluded to or even nodded at or winked at or hinted at in any kind of way, you just say if it increases the rate of fire. Is this a standard rate of fire or is this? Who decides that? So are we going to leave this open-ended thing open to Congress? Have you heard the comments that people that are supposed to even be on our side are making right now? Paul Ryan doesn't have a clue where the bump stock is and this guy's going out there talking about bump, bump fire stocks. He doesn't even know what they are by his own admission, by his own words. He does not know what a bump fire stock is. And in the same breath, he's telling you and I what we should be doing with a bump fire stock. Now, I'm not defending a bump fire stock. I'm using that as an example for Paul Ryan. These guys that we are trusting to make these laws, and I say trusting because I don't think many of us actually are, but we're, we're putting it in their hands to make these laws, and they don't even know this field. They don't even know this industry. They're not even soliciting any input from any of the experts out there. I'm not saying I'm an expert, but they aren't soliciting input from any experts. There are plenty of them out there. They're not asking them. It's like me changing the rule book of how the game of golf is played. I'm not the guy to be doing that. You don't want to trust that game to me. So we're going to leave it up to Paul Ryan and this guy who's pushing this bill through. Let's see, Mr. Uh, Carlos Carbello, Republican from Florida. That's who's pinning this thing. That's the guy who's pinning this bill to push it up, a Repu Republican from Florida. That's who we're going to leave it up to? Who's the clown out there in, in California who was talking a year or two ago about a 30-round clip, 30-round, 30 30-caliber 30 clip? Everything was wrong that he was saying was capable of shooting bullets at a million uh, rounds per second. That's the people that we're leaving these unopened clauses and bills open for to go in there and fill in the blanks later on at their leisure. Do you trust Paul Ryan to tell you what the standard rate of fire is on an AR-15, a semi-automatic rifle? Do you trust him?
Do you trust anybody that has a zip code in Washington, D.C. to tell you and I what the standard rate of fire is for an AR-15 or any semi-automatic rifle for that matter? Because make no mistake, it ain't just these guys. Yeah, they want to get rid of these, but it ain't just these guys. It's semi-automatic rifles. That's what they wrote in the bill. Can you not see that the focus is on the semi-automatic rifle? That's what it is. To leave everything else so vague out there, so very vague, but to point out one specific thing, a semi-automatic rifle, that's the only specific thing that is written in this bill. Guys, you need to contact everybody. Contact Scalise, he's a majority whip. Contact Paul Ryan. Contact everybody you possibly can, not just the people who are on this list. Contact everyone. Nobody brings this topic up any other time. It's only brought up at this time because Democrats are trying to do this on the backs of dead people and injured people because this is their way to take advantage of emotion out there and try to ram things through that people ordinarily under normal circumstances and not being emotional would not have approved of and would not have passed. They're taking advantage of this emotion for a very good reason. So the clock is ticking for the Democrats right now.